and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Today we have an absolutely awesome product to show you guys and also a brand new partnership to talk about with TechFlow and Intel. So let's get straight into this. So this right here, guys, is a two-in-one. This is the Microsoft Surface Book 2, iteration two. This is the 13-inch variant right here, and it's powered by Intel's latest and greatest Core i7. So while we get into this box, actually, just before we do that, we'll, we'll take a little look round first. On the top there, it just says Microsoft Surface Book, and then on the back here, we've got a few specs of our device. So in here, guys, as you can see, we are rocking Windows 10 Pro. We've got that Intel Core i7 processor. We've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 in here with two gig of graphics in here dedicated, which I really want to test out on this little thing. We've got one terabyte storage and then we've got 16 gigs of RAM. So I really do believe that I'm in the same boat as a lot of you guys in the thought process of two-in-ones. A lot of people, and I think it's Marcus Brownlee that really put this in everybody's minds. If you're gonna do a two-in-one, which you are trying to merge a tablet and a, a laptop, you get a little bit worse at doing both. You get, you get a little bit worse than being a dedicated tablet and you, then you get a bit worse at also being a a dedicated laptop, but I'm really excited to see what this laptop can do power-wise with all of the brand new Intel processors that have just surfaced. Pardon the pun right now. So I'm gonna sort of use this video as Alex's sort of 2018 take on the state of two-in-ones and see what I actually think of this bad boy because I haven't been uh, I haven't been I haven't been using two in ones for the last sort of three or four years and the last time I actually touched a two in one is uh, was probably about three or four years ago and uh, wow this thing's packaged very very nicely tiny little info manual right here yep just as I thought little little information booklet there we'll we'll uh, package that one back up and then in here it looks like we've got our power brick which is uh, yep as I thought power brick right there so while I'm sorting out the charging of this laptop guys I want to use the uh, the time and opportunity right now to talk to you guys and invite you to comment something down below. So obviously I've mentioned that we are now working with Intel here on TechFlow. So what products that Intel make would you like us to look at on TechFlow? Is there any sort of path you would like us to go down with the content? It's an open book guys, so comment down below. I'm sure Intel will love to hear what you guys have got to say and what you guys want to see because that is the end goal of TechFlow to bring you guys content that you want to see with these awesome opportunities. And also, what is your, what is your opinion of the two-in-ones, of two-in-one laptops? Look at that, that's like a really nice stretchy thing inside. Love this keyboard. So first off guys, let's take a look at the hardware. I've mentioned first off that I've gone to try the keyboard because if you're gonna buy a laptop, the keyboard is one of the most important things that you can be looking at and experience, and that is a, a very nice, it's very nice keyboard. It's squishy, but not too squishy, it's almost, I'd use the word inviting to type on. It's very, very nice. So now the laptop's out of the box, guys. Let's take a physical look at the hardware around the box. So as you can see here, we've got a little camera. We've got the lovely Windows logo right there. On the side, we've got our proprietary charging port. Now as you can see, that has lit up with a little light there to indicate charging. Absolutely love that. And the fact that they took that away from the MacBooks really was annoying. So the fact that Microsoft here have still got that. Good job. Next to that, we've got ourselves a USB-C port. Nice for future-proofing. Up here, a 3.5 mil audio jack. And it looks like around this side, we've got ourselves a little card slot just there, and then two full-sized USB ports. Again, having to thank you for that, Microsoft. So guys, whilst I'm setting up this laptop, I wanna show you something really, really cool. So this is a laptop right now. It's really not flimsy. Like if you guys look at this hinging mechanism here, there's a little bit of screen wobble, but the fact that this is a two-in-one, you're not really gonna, you're not really gonna be able to mitigate that any other way. I love the build quality of this hinge. This thing definitely right now feels to me like a laptop. And the thing is, you can't just go and pull the screen off this thing, right? It's, it's very good in the sense that you have to click this button right and it feels so 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 cool to do this you have to really listen out right now so if i click this ready that did you hear that and now nice and easy that just lifts straight off there and this thing is a tablet and then hopefully it's just as simple to put this thing back on i think it has magnets in here so it should just whoa <laughs> That's amazing. And that right there, that simple demonstration of me clicking this physical hardware button that you get a nice little light on and then you hear the 
little noise, and then it simply just lifts off like that. The fact that this is such a seamless two-in-one is why I was so intrigued and really wanted to get this in the studio to have a look with you guys and see how awesome this actually is. And that is the thing with these two-in-ones. It's like, is it a laptop? Is it a tablet? When they do a two-in-one, do they get a little bit worse at being a laptop or a little bit worse at being a tablet? But with this, the fact that it's just so seamless, when it's in there, this thing is a laptop, man. That is a laptop. These new Intel processors, especially with the Adobe suite, are absolutely awesome using hardware acceleration on the Intel processors to do things like render out videos. And that is gonna be absolutely awesome for us here to test out in this video and maybe even use this laptop in TechFlow's workflow. So we can actually have videos rendering out on this little Intel machine and even edit on the go, whether that's in tablet form or with the keyboard and little trackpad here. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead straight away right now and open up the Edge browser. I wanna see how many tabs this thing can handle um, because this is, a lot of people are gonna be web browsing on this in tablet form and laptop form. So as you can see, we're straight on Google um, right there. So there we go, if I go ahead and open up another tab right now and I start searching for Surface Book, click enter, we're straight on, another tab, youtube.com, straight on. Then we can go to bbc.co.uk, bang, straight up. Then I could do some online shopping. Let's try amazon.com, there we go. And bang, straight on. So right here, right now, guys, I've got myself a Google search open, just up here in the top corner, and then I've got a Surface Book search, and then I've got YouTube. We could start, I don't know, just playing a video right now. What's on the trending page? Let's try that right now. Click on that and get that all loaded up. There we go, straight on. And then we can skip ad and just quickly pause this video right now. And then we've got BBC open, we've got Amazon open, and then we've got Vimeo open right here with some moving HTML in the background. And as you can see, this isn't choking whatsoever whilst doing this. So that'll do for the general web browsing test. I'm gonna take this thing now into tablet mode and click the button. So guys, to demonstrate this eighth gen processor, I'm gonna do this detached from its keyboard without power. So this is just gonna be the tablet. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Premiere Pro right here. And I've got right here, as you guys can see, a 4K test render folder, which is exactly the same as the folder that's on our editing machine. So as you guys can see, you get a full on Premiere Pro experience in here and we have our video right here. I should be able to scrub straight through this without any issues right now. As you can see, there we go. Look at that, I'm on a tablet, right? And you know what, I even love the fact in here, because this is a tablet, you can use these color shading wheels right here and really try and refine refine the colors. 4K at 50 mega second right now. Jenny, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Right, 83, 84. 85. Oh, it's close. 87. 90 now. Oh, I'm in front of you. 98. Now I'm on 90, 97. Not... Done. Done. Again. Were we the same? Was it no, exactly it's, it's, the same? It's, it's literally done. That is, so it was exactly the same on our editing PC. You can come back now, Jed. It was exactly the same on our editing PC as this in tablet mode, right? And again, the reason why it's so, so fast on this is because of these new Intel 8th gen processors. Adobe is actually using the processor and hardware accelerating the render to get some super fast speeds. And when this thing is docked in here with power, it will be even faster. I can already tell you guys, whilst this thing is docked in, the performance is even better. I'm scrubbing on a 4K timeline right now. Jed, can you scrub on the 4K timeline on that computer? On full? Yeah, on full. No, not even slightly. And this is doing it fine. So far, guys, this is an absolutely crazy machine and all thanks to that Intel processor. But wait, there's more. So we've got ourselves the uh, the Arc here. This is a Surface mouse, and then we've also got the Surface Pen. Um, oh wow, look at that thing. So guys, here is the Surface Pen. Let's see if this works. Just to let you guys know, it comes with an HB tip, a B tip, and a 2H tip, but a tip is already installed on this thing. So uh, this is the pen. Let's see how responsive this thing is. I'm actually gonna be one of these guys, and I'm gonna open up Paint right here. Um, paint, oh wow, this pen is awesome. So this is me again, guys, really testing out how this thing works as a tablet, as well as a laptop. It's super cool, man. This is awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. It magnets onto the side of the... No way. Just gets better and better and better. So Intel have actually told me, guys, that the processor inside of here, the 8th gen, 
is uh, well they've done it so that it's make it makes the touching of the laptop with the stylus or even with your own finger much more precise and fast so it's really really intuitive this thing feels to me more like a five in one than a two in one it only being you know obviously a tablet and a laptop and then let's go into our 4k render test folder and let's just play back the rendered file which is in 4k and just see how good the screen quality is of this thing So that's 4K playback on a tablet right now. Doesn't seem like the most mental thing, but if you really think about it, you need a lot of power for that. So all thanks to the 8th gen Intel Core i7 inside of this thing, we've got great battery life, 15 watts of power, we've got amazing touch, we can play back rendered 4K content and even play back 4K edits inside of Premiere Pro. We've got ourselves here an awesome tablet with great battery life. We've got ourselves an awesome keyboard. Intel really need to give themselves a pat on the back right now because it's that processor in this laptop and that's why I really keep harping on about it that is setting this aside from all of the other two-in-ones and laptops and tablets in their own category. Intel are really killing the game right now, making and putting processors that are as powerful and as energy efficient like this inside of these devices and honestly I think these are the new game changer for 2018 as far as laptops are concerned and I'm really really excited about the future and seeing where all of this heads. But for now this is going to be our two-in-one editing device for TechFlow which is brilliant so you guys should hopefully see more content the more stuff that we can get edited out of the office and this laptop with its Intel 8th gen i7 is going to help us with that. But for now all of the links will be in the description guys. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, be sure to check out Intel and let us know in the comments what you guys want to see and we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.